Hi guys. Um, a couple of people have asked about some steps for moving out of our planning phase um, more broadly and into specifically preparing for our primary research interactions. So I uh, just want to refer your attention back to booklet three where we were looking at strategies for how we conduct primary research. So uh, remember we said before we start uh, interacting with interviewees, we want to make sure that we have um, done some background research and we have actually thought about you know defining some of our keywords so that when we're interacting with these professionals um, we've got our terminology set so if you're doing a topic of women's rights um, you know what what is the women's rights movement what are the different subgroups within that etc if you're doing ACL treatments what is an ACL like you should be informed enough to know what it is that um, you're going to be talking to your interviewee about for key terms anyway. Oh, please excuse Sherman. Uh, so then we've got some uh, processes here that are involved. So let's talk through and make sure that we've covered all of these. First one is you're thinking about whether it's appropriate. So interview, appropriate for getting more detailed information from people with relevant uh, understandings. Survey, broader general trends. Uh, experiment, if you're testing one variable off of another observation etc go back and watch the other video if you need more detail so we're gonna uh you know, think about them and then one of the the key steps here is to actually write down and this will go into your pages the purpose of your undertaking is do you want their professional opinion or not you know what is it that you actually want from them then you're going to identify uh, parts of this process. So you're going to think about what are the types of questions I'm going to ask, how do I actually engage with them, you know, what does it mean to make a survey, etc. Then you're going to design it. And I've talked through elsewhere ways to think about uh, designing your questions and what should go into your interviews or surveys. Uh, always make sure you're drafting this and uh, we have that ethics approval form that you can use to help with this planning process if you need. Um, and that should help you to design things like your emails, um, your ethics, um, permission slips, your um, phone call, cold calls, all of that stuff. Okay. Then once you've started thinking about the people you want to talk to, you will actually contact them and see what you can get. And as you're waiting for them to hear back, uh, to, or to get back to you, um, make sure you're collecting data. Like you actually have to be preparing for the interview, right? Um, you don't go in cold. Um, then eventually you're going to actually conduct your research and you're going to do your survey or you're going to do your interview. And how you collate your data is up to you. Um, I would strongly recommend that you don't try and write down every single word that your interviewee says. If I was doing the interview, say on Zoom, I would have my interview questions uh, written down. I would have a pen and paper and I would be working. Um... Hey, Sherman. Hey, buddy. Um, I would be working with the uh, interviewee to listen you know and to write notes and ask questions but as they're talking I'll be writing down the keywords maybe that came up uh, then as well as that I would be recording so on zoom or um, teams or any of those uh, apps we can record the conversation your phone has a memo function it's called voice memo um, and it's very uh, easy to um, get a recording using that if you needed to borrow a camera or a voice recorder from the school, we've got them as well. Uh, that will take you up to setting up for your um, inf uh, interview or survey. And so some of the things we've talked about, you know, making contact tables, documenting your research, conducting your background research, that's all listed here as well. Okay. Um, what I want to mainly talk to you about, though, is what sorts of evidence you could be producing to prepare for your uh, interactions. So you would have seen this um, previously, and I'm not going to talk it through in great detail, but these sorts of reflections are useful journals because remember in research project, we don't want to tell the happy story of the research project. Everything we write in our folio must match a performance standard. So uh, you'll see this person has talked about the purpose of their survey. They've talked about the types of language they're going to use. They've talked about the types of questions that they're going to use, the tone, how they're going to use different questions, um, how they're going to get it out. So this is them planning through language and methodology. 